Rabotai. Every person in life has different challenges. No matter who you are, you're going to have a challenge in your life. No matter who you are. That's part of life. This Yonot Hashem tests us. He wants to make us great. Nisayon comes from the word Nes. Nes is a banner that He lifts you up when you're passing that test. Now, we don't ask for the test. Like we say, But when a challenge in life comes to you, you have to understand, you have to embrace it. And you have to leap over it. And you have to be happy. Oh, I have a challenge in my life. Now I will overcome it. And everybody has different challenges. And to each his own. Sometimes a lady, she'll have a, a challenge of sni'ut, where she has to get to the next level, she has to race to that bar. She has to go higher. But she has to have to embrace it. She has to be happy. Oh, I have the challenge and I will overcome it. <laughs> Sometimes a person has a challenge in waking up from Minyan. And he will overcome it. And he will feel great. And I'll, I'll, I'll never forget, there's a famous story where of Aaron Cutler. How a boy came over to him and told her, Aaron, he said, Rabbi, I have no cheshek to learn. I have no desire to learn. I don't know Torah. I don't know. And Rabbi Aaron said, I'm jealous of you. He says, why? He said, because I always, I, have, I always have a desire to learn. But imagine your challenge that you have. You have no desire to learn and you could overcome the challenge and learn anyway. How many times it's hard and the person not in the mood to learn, go to class, and you overcome the challenge? You know, we have to be happy with that to overcome it. Because you know why? There's going to be a time like Patiel said, he was sad because the challenge was over. Once 120 comes, once a person dies from this world, he's called what? Niftar. What does the word niftar come from? Patur. What's been Patur from? He's exempt. He's exempt from all the mitzvot. Aye, it's a shame. But when you still have a breath in your neshama, and a challenge comes to you, you say to yourself, Ah, oh, thank you, Bore Olam, for this challenge that you gave me, that I could have the opportunity and the ability <laughs> to overcome it, to leap over it. And there's different stages in a person's life. Before when a person's single, he has the stage of being single. And there's different tests in his moment. And he passes that. Then he goes to marriage life. Then he has that Shalom Bayit. We're always uh, uh, complimenting his wives and getting along with another human being in your house, another spouse, and building a relationship. Then he has the challenge of raising children. Praying to Borei Olam Hashem, please help me raise these children to become tzaddikim tzaddikaniyot. Then he has his uh, challenge of what? Of having son-in-laws, of having in-laws, of having a daughter-in-laws. That's a whole different challenge in his life. And through life, and through life, a person, he has to learn from Paltiel that he was crying that, oh my goodness, my challenge is over. Sometimes a person has a test in his life, a challenge is like, oh, Shem, why'd you put me through there? Why are you there? What? what are you doing? What are you doing? God gave you the best uh, possible challenge that you could overcome so He can pull you up as a banner. So your schad in Shemaim, so your reward in Shemaim could be much, much greater. He's pulling you up to give you more reward. To give you more reward. So what are you complaining about? Say, hi, it's hard for me. I'm happy it's hard for me. I'm going to overcome it, Hashem. With your help, I'm going to overcome it. I'm going to do my part. And this is what we have to learn from Paltiel. That when we have challenges, we embrace the challenge, we overcome the challenge with Hashem's help, and we and with Hashem, the reward of that, the reward of that is endless, is overcoming. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.